Howdy y'all, Fast Force 289, welcome back. I got a new air cleaner from my 76 Ford truck. Let's take a look at it and see how it turned out. So this is the new air cleaner that I ordered. I ordered off eBay and trust me, it did not look anything like this whenever I got it. Now this is my original snorkel from my original air cleaner. I just took it off and put it on here. For one, it saved me time for cleaning up. Yeah, and I need to repaint it. It's been like six years since I repainted this thing, but Still looks good enough and it goes with the rest of it. But uh, I went through, took some steel wool with a soap pad and some window cleaner and scrubbed all this really good. And took some compound and some polish and just lightly went over. I didn't want to make it super, super shiny like chrome. I wanted it to be kind of like a satin finish, kind of like factory. So that's why I didn't, I could have polished it to a high mirror shine, but I didn't want that for this. So but it turned out really well. I even got in her here. I don't know if I can see you, if I can show you that wheel. But either way, it turned out really well. I like it. Everything hooks up. I cleaned. This is the original valve that came with it, check valve. I uh, cleaned that up and put in there. Come around here, you can see all my factory options still hook up. Uh, this right here was originally back here further. That was one thing I didn't like about the original air cleaner uh, that came on this truck, the old stamp style still. Yeah, they're way back here. They're hard to get to, but not a big deal. I still like those air cleaners, but I've always liked these the best because it kind of gives it kind of an aftermarket look while still being stock and still being factory option. So I like that. It came, it had this hole already. Now this hole, funny enough, I had to drill this hole out. It didn't have this hole in the air cleaner. So I had to come in here and actually drill that hole out and notch it out for this to fit into like the factory. But uh, that wasn't that hard to do. It just took me a, a drill step bit and drilled the hole and it took me a drill one in a notched it out so that fits in like it's supposed to now everything hooks up and it looks just like it did factory So yeah, that's it. I just wanted to show you that. Uh, I didn't show me actually cleaning up on it cause it's just, it's kind of boring to watch me clean it up. And if you watched my last video or yeah, on one of my other videos where I did the 77 air cleaners, the same thing, except I actually took a little bit more time with this one and cleaned it better than I did the 77, but same kind of steps involved. Uh, like I said, I like the old stamp steel ones that came on this truck from the factory. Uh, this is the first air cleaner for 77 actually. They went to this in 77 and I just like it. I just do, you know. It's still a factory option, so I like it. And uh, it's just got a better look, in my opinion, with the details and the stamping on it. And plus, it's aluminum. It gives it a different look. Kind of breaks up all that blue, you know. So that's that's my personal uh, preference on this. So I found this on eBay, picked it up, cleaned it up, and good to go. And the good thing is these are always bad for cracking. This one really only has, like, two cracks in it. So I can't complain with that either. That's pretty good. Turned out really good. So, yeah, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. I'd appreciate it. And uh, that's all for this one. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.